After many months of being gone from my castle, the day has finally arrived for me to return. I've loaded up my puppy dog. Let's look right. Let's look left. Everything looks clear. So let's row out and turn around and take one last look at the snow base. I've only been here for or a week or two, and before that I was at my lava camp in my Devil's River mining outpost. Now let's row back and close the door that I forgot to shut. And let's spin it back around. I think we're ready to go. And we're off. So we've got to get through the channel without being shot at by skeletons. We're going to be doing some night navigation. And I have torches on islands along the way. And those will help us navigate the choppy waters back to the castle. In my inventory, in position number four, I also have a compass. And we're going to keep that little red needle pointed straight ahead as much as we can. And that should take us right back to the castle. My dog is whimpering just a little bit, but he's just a puppy. I had to leave his parents back at the snow base. And I will return to bring back at least one of them. Also in my inventory, I have a lot, and I do mean a lot, of gold and diamonds. I've got a lot of iron ore and emeralds. I've got quite the haul. And as you can see, the sun is coming up. And the dolphins really do enjoy gliding along underneath the surface of the water, trying to keep up with the boat. I'm anxious to get back to the castle. It's been a long time since I've seen my skeleton horse named Kevin. I'm also curious to know if anything's changed. Try to avoid these sea monsters. Oh, and I 
I see the tower. My island is right up here. And we just came from back there. So let's approach cautiously. And you can see my castle coming into view. And my tree farm. Boy, that's a sight for sore eyes. It's been so long. So, so long since I've, since I've been here. This is where I spawned when I first played Minecraft. This used to be a rugged mountainous island. And I've leveled it and built this castle. But I can't tell you how many nights I spent in fear in a little dugout hole about the size of a closet while I tried to figure out exactly how to play this game. And this is the only survival world, the only world that I've, that I've had since I began this Minecraft journey. Jump up out of the boat. I don't see Kevin. Puppy's okay. Let's run over here. The grass has grown up. But I don't see Kevin. 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 I don't... I don't... I don't understand. Where is my horse? I don't get it. Let's get the dog out of the boat. Where, where'd the dog go? Now my dog is gone. The boat is there. I hear my dog. And I hear him bark. And I hear him whimper. But I don't see my dog. So all you Minecraft gurus watching this, please, please tell me in the comments where my dog is. I hear him, but I cannot see him. And what is the icon in the top right of the screen. Does anyone know what that is and what it means? Why is this door open? The sheep appear to be fine. very strange that that door is open. I don't 
think I would have left that door open. And I hear my dog, but I don't see it. And why is that door open? I wouldn't have left. Something has been going on here during the period of time that I've been gone. Cows looked okay. Courtyard looks fine. Now these two double doors, those should not be open. And this is beginning to creep me out. I don't understand. I might have to go back and watch the last video before I set sail across the ocean to see, did I actually leave all of these doors wide open? The kitchen looks fine. Bedroom looks fine. Everything looks fine here. But those open doors were quite odd. I still don't see Kevin anywhere. I originally found Kevin. How else I have found him? Three skeletons riding skeleton horses appeared on my island one stormy night. Eventually, I'm trying to remember, it's been so long, but Kevin used to have a skeleton rider. I still hear my dog. And somehow he ended up bobbing up and down in the water. Out there, away from the shore, a pretty good ways, a couple hundred yards maybe. And I hesitantly rowed out in the boat. Yeah, I rowed out. And I believe I, I pushed him to shore. And he became a fast friend. And that's why I'm kind of saddened that he does not appear to be here. I'm totally in the dark and don't understand why. Very, very strange. Everything up here appears to be okay. No sign of my horse. If 
very odd. Let's just run down here to the vaults. Maybe take a peek in here at the portal room. Everything looks okay. I had better unload all of this loot. Let's unload the gold. And the golden apples. And the emeralds. Diamonds. And all of this iron ore. Or iron bars, I should say. They're not just bars, they're blocks. So in reality, that is a lot of bars. Let's put the coal, the blocks of coal, in here. And it's been so long since I've looked into these chests. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've looked in these chests. Let's just arrange a few things. Um, I can't remember what I've got, what I have and what I, what I don't have. I'm actually going to have to re-familiarize myself with my own castle because I've been gone for that long. The enchanting room seems, seems okay, but it sure does seem cramped. Everything in my castle seems kind of crude, maybe because a lot of you know that I have a realm where me and a bunch of other people have been building a, uh, a city, and the builds that have occurred in the city are so elaborate with I mean, for crying out loud, the city has a subway system and a shopping mall and a horse racing track and a, and a baseball field, a fire station, and soon we'll have a p police department. And it's got office buildings and hotels and apartment complexes and a bank and stores and thrill rides. It's got everything built by some very fine Minecraft players. And so now when I look at my castle, there's a little bit of dissatisfaction with with the crudeness and the simplicity. And I guess that's, you know, I've just been gone for so long and I've seen so much. But another thing that I did while I was gone was I did a lot of uh, fighting monsters. 
especially at the different bases. And uh, I'm a much better, much more skilled fighter of monsters since the last time I was here. So I think I'm determined not to take any guff from any creeper, from any zombie, from any skeleton, from any big fat black spider. This is my home. And before I was so concerned about being killed because I do not, I do not die very often in this game. I'm not sure how many times I've been killed, but I bet I could count them on two hands. Probably less than 10 times. That's just a guess. And there's monsters down in my side yard. And I suspect they've done something with my horse. So I think I shall go down and put their lights out and slay them. Yeah, and now I'll go out and collect their rotten flesh. These dirty, sorry zombies. I'm thinking of a plan. Things are going to be much different, much, much different now that I'm back. I shall control the narrative. And I shall build up a lot of XP. from what's about to go down now that I'm back. Monsters, beware. I'm a different player. And now that you've done something with my horse, I'm out for revenge. I, there's a creeper. The battle trench is not a good place to take on a creeper. I avenged the death of Jensen. Back at his village, it was relatively close to the snow base. Some of you probably saw that video. And I'm going to try to get to the bottom of what has become of Kevin, my skeleton horse. You can leave your your input in the comments as to what might have happened. 
But something went down, and I don't like it. Not one bit. And I still... You heard it yourself. You heard the dog bark just a second ago. But yet, he's nowhere in sight. Let's take a minecart ride over to the chicken ranch. Do a little quick inspection. And I'm looking at how crude this looks after riding in the subways on my realm. So I'm sort of motivated to uh, spruce things up a little bit here in my survival world. Now we are arriving at the chicken ranch, which is located right outside the walls of a village. And the village is abandoned. All the monsters got to the villagers and killed them, except for one, and I accidentally killed him quite by accident. The chickens appear to be okay. I'll be harvesting all these chickens in an upcoming video. So let's head back. Because, you know, I thought maybe there was a possibility that Kevin wandered down this, uh, the track and made it over to this island. But I did, I didn't see him. I suspect some kind of foul play. No, no pun intended, not by the chickens, but you know what I mean. So let's just get back to the castle. And we'll try to figure things out. What in the world? It's my email client just opened by itself. Let me close that. I'll have to blur that out so that you can't <laughs> so that you can't be reading all my email. <laughs> Not that you would care, but Okay, so uh no no horse. Hey there's my dog. How do you explain that? How do you explain that? Where was he? Now he magically appeared. Does that mean my horse will magically appear? I haven't lost, I haven't lost all hope. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking. Like I said, I forgot, totally forgot what I have. Now 
now that I have a dog, I need to make sure I, I do close the doors. And I should probably make him a, a name tag. And I, I think I have some name tags. I just have to remember which chest I put those in. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's just get one. Now I have to try to remember how to make a name tag. I know that I do it on an anvil. You put the name tag there. And you put something right there, but I'm not sure. I don't remember what. Is it lapis? Lazuli, like it is with an enchanting table. Enchantment cost one of something. Yeah, I bet it's uh, XP. Yeah. So what do I want to name my dog? That's the question. I have not given it much thought. But uh, let's, let's just try Ned. I'm open for suggestions. I can always change his name. We'll call him Ned. If you got a better idea, just let me know in the comments. Now, <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. He's traumatized now. He's not going to be any good for hunting. I think he still likes me. Boy, look how the grass has grown. That was all very short when we left. Maybe I'm just overlooking Kevin. He might be out here somewhere, but it's inconceivable that he would be gone from the island because I've had him for so long. Why would he all of a sudden be gone? Yeah, something is very fishy. Very fishy indeed. Well, let's go down and check out some of the lower levels here at the castle. I still remember how terrifying it was to mine all of this out. Because, like I said, I, I'm very careful because I don't want to get killed. But 
I'm more skillful now. Much more skillful. And I almost welcome the chance for a fight against the mobs. But at the same time, I'm aware that the attitude that I am adopting can be very dangerous to me. It can give me uh, too much, too much confidence can get me killed. And I am acutely aware of that fact. So when the time comes for a fight, I don't see much in here. Yeah. When the time comes for a fight, I hope that I remember that even though I feel cocky, I feel like I can take on any of the mobs. What level am I at? Level five. Yeah, I just gotta keep myself, uh, yeah, that's five. I'm gonna have to keep myself reined in. Because even though I feel like I'm a good fighter, That just may be a feeling. So I still have to be careful. And already I feel like I'm reverting back into my paranoid frame of mind when it comes to fighting these monsters. Yes, it's a roller coaster of emotions. And there's a certain cave system. I've only been down it one time. I have not been back. I don't even remember what it looks like. But on this property, there is... What's that? Oh, zombie. Stung, didn't it? Yeah. You probably had something to do with my horse being gone. All zombies are... Yeah, all zombies are suspect. But yeah, that, that mine, I've only been down it one time. I don't remember anything about it other than it scared me. But not anymore. Like I know outside this door are monsters, and I would have avoided them last time 
Not anymore. Not anymore. I'll just have to fight smart so as not to get killed. And it looks like I just ran away. But I quickly saw that I was outnumbered. Instead, I think I will choose to pick them off one by one, very methodically, very intentionally, very precisely. They don't stand a chance. Yeah. Yeah, step right up. Your turn to be a victim, Mr. Creeper. That water's not going to save you. Oh, come back up here and get the blade. Get some more of this sharp edge. Yeah. Your dirty, rotten flesh. Let's go over here. Get whatever XP we can get. And now let's run over here and see what's left to kill. Just a skeleton. But I think I'll go down into the battle trench. And dispatch him by cutting him down at the knees with my sword. Yeah, bad shot. And that worked out exactly as planned. Everything's clear that way. Let's go out there and pick up that bow. And let's run over. Let's run over to the tree farm. There's a skeleton. Let's take him out. Oh, there's a spider and a creeper. Oh, now I'm going to have to repair that. And that makes me even madder. Yes, things are going to be different. I'm no longer going to be standing behind the safety of my wall. I'm going to be out here mixing it up with these guys. And I don't care.
care. I don't care how dicey it gets. I'm not going to stand back and take their brutality any any longer. Just picking up some repair things that I might need to fix that that hole that the creeper made when he exploded himself. a slab and all I, all I have is one that I picked up when it yeah you know, when it exploded I'm just gonna have to get another slab come back Let's take this spider out. Yeah. My island. My rules. You don't want to get killed? Don't spawn. Do not spawn here. And Ned seems to be happy that I'm back. And let's celebrate. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it, the one CD that I that I brought is a duplicate of one that I already had. As hard as these are to come by, now I have two just alike. But it sounds pretty good. So let's dance. Dance to my new attitude when it comes to killing the mobs. Thanks for watching.